guys, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. It's an awesome Wednesday night for us because we have legendary hard rock band The Trues with us, all the way from Nova Scotia. It was uh, another one off of Civilianaires? Yes, it was. Awesome, and that just came out on September 14th, right? Yes. Yep. So about half a month ago. Half a month ago. And you guys have been touring around, I guess, from up, up in Canada, now in New York. You yeah. played last night, no? How, how would you describe your sound? I, I said a hard hard rock band at the beginning. But, yeah. Uh, for well, you this, guys. Is a, this is an acoustic version of us. I mean, we do both. Um, some would call it hard rock, other would call it just rock and roll. But that's usually what they've... That's usually the adjectives. Yeah, yeah. And you shared uh, you shared the stage with some giant names that that yeah. you know uh, Americans and stuff might be a little bit more familiar with. Like Are you familiar with the Rolling Stones and Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bruce Steve. Springsteen, Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Um, and for me, the one that stood out was Weezer. They're one of my all-time favorites. Great. Yeah. We and did that last year. Yeah, we did a tour with them last yeah. year. Yeah. That's so cool. Great tunes. Um, so, so with this album, uh, Civilianaires, first of all, tell me about the name, if you would. It's uh, um, like a storefront in uh, Venice, in California, where my wife, we were on vacation, she wanted to go there, and it was closed. I think it like it closed indefinitely, but we were like going there, and we're going to a place called Civilianaires. I was like, what the heck does that mean? But it stuck with me, it just was a cool word. So we started working on a song around the word. Yeah. And uh, I looked it up long after we wrote the song, and it means people who make their living through ill-gotten means. Oh, okay. So That's what so, rock and roll is all about. There you go. <laughs> um, and, hard up and hard rock. And how long, how long have you guys been together as a band? Um, well, me and... Six my, months? Yeah, six months. Yeah, we six months. Lots wow, happened in six months. Month. Yeah, like there's been seven records and a bunch of incredible opening slots. Yeah. Oh, okay. The three of us, my brother Colin and I and Jack, have been playing together in some version of this band since like the late 90s when we were just, you know, spring chickens. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, we moved to central Ontario in the early aughts. We started putting our records in 2003 and uh, got on that sort of hamster wheel of record and tour and record and tour and we've been doing it ever since. And like, that's, uh, for us, that's like uh, amazing, you know, that we made it last and made it work and we have some great fans and support out there. And Jeff over on the keyboard, we've been playing with him for about 10 years. Chris is the newest member. He's been in the band for almost a year, I want to say, ish. Woo! And uh, yeah, he plays on the new record. Fantastic. So out of, out of all the tours that you guys have done, is there a, a favorite place that you've been so far or a favorite in, tour? We played in like really far off, play, like Iqaluit is like in the Northwest, not in the Northwest territory, it's, it's, in, uh, it's a territory unto itself in, uh, in Nunavut in, in, in Canada. We've played Dubai, we've played Japan, we've played Cuba, wow, we've played, like? we've been all over the world. Um, which one? <laughs> oh, Dubai. Oh, it was um, very interesting. You know, uh, we went over there actually to play for the Canadian troops who were stationed there when the war was still going on, when they were still in the war in Afghanistan. I don't know if wow. they're still there or not. But, um, and we were brought over to play for them, and uh, we played on like a, a, sh a warship in the mess hall, and we also played like an event at a golf resort on the Persian Gulf. It was really kind of crazy. That's and we got to go down really and shop cool. in like old Dubai and like buy gold in the souk market and all this kind of It was pretty, it was an intense trip. It was fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and I guess where, where is the tour heading? It sounds like you guys are doing upstate tomorrow and then from there. Uh, we're, we're, we're going up to Canada. We got a few shows um, in the next few months. A couple things are going to be announced and we do a full tour starting uh, next year all across Canada. And, uh, and we'll probably just stay on the road. What should people expect with this album that's different from maybe the other ones? Um, Besides well, a drummer. Um, yeah, a new drummer. Um, great. It's a great album. I'm, like, I'm super proud of it. I think anybody that liked the band over the years is going to love this. And I think it'll attract some, some new listeners too. And uh, hopefully we can just keep expanding outward. And is there a, a, a new video that you might be working on? Or? Yeah, we are working on a music video. Out. Yeah, it's, we shot it about a week or two ago. Yeah, we Trump. haven't seen it yet. It's being yeah. edited right now. So. Ooh. Maybe we'll, you know, we'll send it your way. Are we allowed time. to know anything? Any spoilers? Um, it's, it's for a song called Vintage Love, which is the radio single in, in Canada. Canada. Yeah. Um, and We'll let you guys do a pop dust uh, premiere. <laughs> oh, yeah, can yeah. we? Can Talk we have to the premiere? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right, that's a promise. Yeah. That's a Pop Dust Presents promise, it's ladies recorded. and gentlemen. We get the exclusive premiere of Vintage Love. Is it like a, in a vintage clothing store called Civilianaires? Probably. Jeez, where were you? I, the I, listen, I got this stuff. That's a good me. idea. <laughs> no, actually, it's... Uh, Part of the <laughs> premise is like 
fan generated content. That's the only spoiler I'll give. Oh. But yeah, we had we had a shoot right. going Put on. Put your fans to work. We invited We're gonna everybody get a free to ride. Film. Yeah, we invited everybody to film all their stuff in the same day. And the director just messaged me like, "There's way too much. Like this is gonna take me a month to edit." <laughs> uh, well, that's really exciting. And and speaking of, you know, you said. Uh, uh, about the, the the single out now in Canada, and you guys have had what is it, fourteen songs in the top ten? Seventeen. Seventeen. 17. Yeah. That's that means it's three more since the last time I, I read. Seventeen it. definitely it means it's three more than fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an hour from now, you're like, no, it's no, twenty four. <laughs> yeah, twenty four. Um, so what is 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 the the Canadian rock charts? Is it different? Is it, is describe, it more polite? What it, what I describe is, Canada as a really healthy, like, rock and roll scene. Like, just in, in our friend group alone, we, yeah. we know, like, dozens of really successful rock Canadian rock bands. Like, I think there's a, a big appetite for rock and roll up there still. Not that there isn't in the States, but I feel like it doesn't intersect with the mainstream all that often down here. That's, right. that's I think true, in, yeah. in Canada, it's a little more common. Do you think that there's something to do with about like the, the live performance aspect of it in Canada? Yeah. Is it, I find that, you know, Most, living here in New York yeah. City, it can be, after a while, you know, people are just exhausted of like going out to a show, like go see a yeah. band, and it's, it, but it's not the same. There's you a, go down to like Nashville here, people yeah. are all about it, but. Yeah, uh, Canadian, most Canadian bands make their, way on the road they all they kind of forge their careers by just being at hard touring playing 300 nights a year especially in the early days and kind of build followings that way like every band that's made it in Canada does that that like that we know and where where does the the band name come from it's probably a question you get a lot but I don't care <laughs> yeah, I like no, that clearly. Um, uh, so, uh, <laughs> it's probably a question you get a lot but I don't care um, um, so I don't know version of this do you want? Um, um, we used to be called like when we first started in high school we were One-Eyed Trouser which came from a Monty Python movie yeah. The Meaning of Life and um, and then we shortened it to Trouser and then we were about to release our first EP back in 2002 years and years and years ago and and it was a band called Trouser like an acid jazz band out of Mississauga where he's from that was using the, the name Trouser and they sent us like a cease and desist like you can't use this name and we had two days before the record was going to come out so we had to change all the artwork Wow. And I think Jack's mother called and said, you guys should call yourselves the truce. I mean, back then we didn't know if we were going to last an EP or have a career. Luckily we had a career, but we ended up, ended up being called the truce. And it's a cool sounding name. Uh, the explanation isn't as cool. I wish it meant something really cool, but it's literally Scottish tartan pants. Not traditional, like Bay City Roller style. Bay City Roller. But I think it works. I mean, when we talked about the passage of time kind of freaking you out, like the fact that we're already in 2018, which even talking about sounds like the, the future. Up. Time speeding up. I was going to tie into yeah, time speeding yeah, up this yeah. song. I actually, so what I, what I, when I first saw the, the band name, it reminded me of uh, a no effects song that I really love called The Bruise. But I, I don't know if you guys we're know no effects. Sporting anti swastika tattoos. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, it's a great tune. Anyway, have you guys ever you played with no effects? No, but I listened to them in high school. I listen to them Me and a my lot friend. as well. And they're yeah. big fans of the show. Fat Mike, hit us up. All right, uh, your inspirations. Uh, Mus music. Emotional. Uh, just music and life and, and books and uh, travel and um, music. All right. So he just read his Tinder for, profile. For Chris, it's, uh, that's it's my travel. Oh, books, sorry. I thought music. <laughs> this is a Tinder show, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is uh, uh, Tinder presents. Okay. Uh, swipe, I thought this was like live. The, the Tinder yeah. show. The Tinder live. Yeah. It's sort of like a, at the end. At the end, they're gonna uh, text their vote for who they want to date. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, yeah. For Chris, it's mostly like Celine Dion or her early career yeah. catalog. I like the early stuff yeah. before she went all mainstream. You know? Mil milk. Milk. Yeah. Ping pong. I like ping pong. Yep. That's yeah. Winger. Give inspiration. Jack, I like Jack Black. He's hilarious. Absolutely. Do you guys have uh, any last messages? Maybe where people can find your music? Yeah, we're all over the uh, the internet, social media, and everything like that. It's the Trues, T R E W S. We have a record on it's on Apple Music and Spotify and. Yeah, if you else? Google the Trues, yeah. it'll be the first bunch of stuff that comes up. Other than the Russell Brand stuff, because he he's been usurping our, our name for the last five years or so. Send him a C and D. We should send him a C. I don't and think D. he can. No. Well, it's a different it's thing. Title oh, it's oh, the true news. Because, because the he's not doing. Yes, the true it's news. The true. And he's not doing yeah, yeah. music with it. We're doing music with it. He's doing right. something else. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And and Russell Brand's a big fan of the show. So Russell, come Is on. Really Maybe no. Uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> we can at least at least have them as a, as a 
musical guest. I mean, you guys should be like, maybe he'll have you guys do like the theme song he or something. He tweeted at us the, the day he decided to steal our name. He's like, I realized that there's a Canadian band called At the Trees, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm like, okay, fair enough. Listen. Yeah, I mean, how about it? I know you're a big fan of the show, so hi. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Hi, hi, Russell, and thank you guys. Thank you to the Trues. Thanks the for having trues. us. Drinking some brews and uh, having a good time. The music is awesome. Civilianaires is an amazing album. Check it out. Uh, it'll be the, the fifth one to go gold, I'm, I'm guessing. I hope. Yeah, you know, we have. Yeah, you're right. Number five. All right, well, thank you guys, and uh, stay tuned for more Pop Dust Presents. We have another artist coming up next with my man Decent. Uh, please subscribe. Follow the trues, the trues music, and uh, share it, like it.